If you're like me, you want to make money betting on prize picks. So what we're going to be going through in this video is kind of how prize picks works. And also, I'm going to explain to you why you always want to be placing five pick flex plays or six pick flex plays. And there's no argument about this. It's just math. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go through it. So if you're new to prize picks, the way this platform works is it's a parlay only sports book. Okay, so you can see right here, any two picks I select, so any two leg parlay I create, doesn't matter if you take overs or unders, your payout doesn't change. 100 to win 300, right? We can switch this to a different player and you can see it's gonna be the same thing, 100 to win 300. So a lot of people may be like, oh, that's like plus 300 odds on a sports book, 100 to win 300 in profit. But this isn't your profit, that's your payout. So it includes your stake. So on prize picks for any two leg parlay, any two pick power play, you're betting 100 to win 200 in profit. So what we can do is we can kind of run through the math of a two pick power play and what percentage of your bets you need to win in a two pick power play to break even right so if you're placing these two pick power plays on prize picks betting 100 to win 300 200 in profit you need to win 57.74 percent of your bets to break even right so what this means is if you're playing two leg power plays on prize picks and you're winning 57.74 percent of your bets your net profit will be zero over the course of the long run so if you're winning two pick power plays, let's say 60% of the time, if you're winning your picks and two pick power plays 60% of the time, so above the break even win rate, you're gonna be super profitable, which you can see right here, right? You're gonna be earning an 8% ROI. So this can just be called ROI, right? So essentially you're winning your prize picks entries 57.73% of the time, your ROI is gonna be basically nothing, right? 0.01%. If you're winning 60% of the time, picks in two pick power plays, your ROI is gonna be 8%, right? And if you're winning your picks 55% of the time, then your ROI is gonna be negative 9.25%. So a lot of people, they don't understand how prize picks is making money off them. And the thing is, is prize picks assumes, right? You're winning these over-unders 50% of the time only. They assume most betters, and most betters can't, right? Only the sharpest betters can win on prize picks each of their plays 57.73% of the time or more to be profitable on prize picks and have a positive ROI over the course of the long run, right? Most betters on over-unders, they can only win 50% of the time, which means prize picks, you have a negative 25% ROI. That's why prize picks is a really scary platform for betters who don't understand it. It's a parlay only sports book that charges really high VIG or really high juice, right? So essentially for a two pick power play, you need to win 57.74% of your bets to break even, which implies minus 137 odds. So when you look on odds jam, if we just go right here, right, you'll see prize picks. We just assume most betters are placing two pick power plays. So the odds are minus 137 for any play. Right again, on prize picks, it doesn't matter if you take overs or unders, that's not gonna change your payout, right? So your payout doesn't change depending on if you select overs or unders. So prize picks is always charging in a two pick power play minus 137 odds, which is horrible, right? That's a lot of juice. You know, you look at, let's say DraftKings here, minus 135 plus 105, that's their market, minus 135 plus 105. So there's a 30 cent spread. On prize picks, this is 74 cents, right? They're charging you 74 cents of VIG, 37 on one side, 37 on the other. So they bake in a lot of juice into these two pick power plays. They're really a ripoff. So next we can go to four pick power plays, right? So four pick power plays, what you're gonna notice is if we select four players right here, your payout is gonna be 10X. So that's plus 900 odds, betting 100, to win not a thousand in profit, 900 in profit, plus your hundred dollar stake back means to win is a thousand dollars. That's your total payout. So what we can check out here is okay, for a four pick power play, 
right? Plus 900 odds, right? If I go four for four, so we can do the same thing and we can back out what percentage of your bets do you have to win in a four pick power play to break even. And you can see this time it's 56.24%. So I need to win less of my picks if I'm placing four pick power plays on prize picks than two pick power plays. In two pick power plays, you have to win each of your picks 57.74% of the time to break even, right? In four pick power plays, just using a binomial distribution, you need to win 56.24% of your plays to break even, which implies minus 128 odds. So you need to win less of your picks in a four pick power play to break even long term, right? So that means you're getting better odds in a four picker than in a two picker on prize picks, right? So two pick, four pick, you wanna go with four pick because you need to win less of your picks in a four pick to break even, which is the same as saying you're getting better implied odds. So next we can go to a five flex. So with a five flex, what you're gonna notice is, okay, if you go five for five, you get a plus 900 payout, right? 100 to win 1,000, again, that's 900 a profit. So if I go five for five, I'm getting 900 bucks in profit for an $100 stake. If you go four for five, you're getting a 2x payout, which means if you go four for five, it's 100 to win 200, which is plus 100 odds. 100 to win 200 total means 100 to win 100 in profit plus your $100 stake back. So that's just plus 100 odds. So if you go four for five, you're getting $100 in profit. If you go three for five, it's a little confusing. They're saying, hey, you get a 0.4x payout but that means you lose 60% of your capital. So if you go three for five, right? If you go three for five and a five flex, then you're not winning $40 in profit. You're losing $60, right? Out of your $100 stake, you're getting back 40. So you're actually down 60 bucks. But what you'll notice is if you go through the math again with your break even win percentage and a binomial distribution in a five flex, you only need to win 54.25% of your plays to break even. So if you're winning 60% of your plays in a five flex, right, a five flex play, your ROI would be 43.42% right here, right again. This is the same as your ROI. So 54.25%. So if you're winning 60%, your ROI is 43.4% if you're placing five flexes, right? So you only need to win in a five flex 54.25% of your picks, right? To break even long-term. If you're winning 60%, your ROI is gonna be 43.4%. Whereas if you're winning 60%, let's say in two pick power plays, your ROI is only 8%, right? So two pick power plays are horrible, <laughs> absolutely horrible, right? If you're winning 60%, your ROI is 8%, versus having an ROI of 43.4% if you're placing five flexes. So long story short, you know, the implied odds for two pick power plays minus 137, four pick power plays minus 128. So four picks are better than two pick entries. You're getting better implied odds because you need to win less of your picks long term to break even. In a five flex, you only need to win 54.25% of your plays, which is better than four pick power plays as well as two pick power plays. So the implied odds is roughly minus 119. So that's when, when you're looking at odds jam and you see, hey, prize picks five or six flex minus 119 odds, it's coming from that, right? That's the implied price. So if your plays are profitable at minus 119, right, and are winning over 54.25% of the time, you're gonna be profitable on prize picks long-term if you're placing five flexes. So then we can go to six flexes and do the same thing. And I'll put this sheet in the description um, as well so you can take a look. But for six flexes, what you're gonna notice is, okay, you go six for six, it's a 25X payout. So that's plus 2,400 odds. You go five for six, it's a 2X payout plus 100 odds. You go four for six, you're down 60 bucks because you're getting back 40% return on capital. So assuming your stake is 100 bucks, you're down 60 bucks. So you go through the math and what you're gonna essentially notice is, you know, once again, the implied odds, 
a little, just barely a smidge better than a five flex, but is minus 118.4. So six pick flexes, I mean, we just kind of looped them in together, just such a small difference, roughly minus 119 implied odds on prize picks. So that's kind of the math behind prize picks, right? So when you're looking for profitable plays on prize picks, which is what the positive EV tool does, is it literally just takes all these lines from prize picks, scans them all, takes all these lines, college basketball, MMA, whatever, and then it just shows you, hey, here are the plays that actually have a positive profit margin at minus 119. So this play, Eric Carlson, it would look you know, pretty horrible in a two pick power play, right? Because again, a two pick power play, we have to win a lot more of our bets to be profitable long-term so you're getting minus 137 odds so this doesn't seem great at minus 137 why would i include it in a two pick power play if i could get it on parlay play at minus 128 bet mgm at minus 135 so i could get it at better odds than i could get in a two pick power play but in a five flex or a six flex minus 119 is what you're getting and this seems like pretty crazy value right all the books are pricing this around minus 145 minus 150 we're getting it minus 119 seems pretty good. So this is kind of why, again, I'll include the sheet in the description, five flex, six flex, that's what you want to go with because you need to win the lowest percentage of your picks to be profitable long term, right? If in a six flex, if we're winning our plays 60% of the time, our our, our ROI is 66%, 66.4%, which is pretty crazy. But again, this is just math. A lot of people will be like, oh, but I like two pick power plays because I've won my last few. Again, this isn't disputable. This is just math. In terms of the implied odds or being profitable long term, you want to be going with six pick flexes or five pick flexes. But anyways, I hope this was helpful. Any questions you have, email, whatever. Let's make money.